This is my 2023 Everyday Carry. This is everything I carry for mobile music content creation, for photography, videography, and my essentials that I need with me on a daily basis. So let's get into this bag and everything that's in it right now. Let's go! So I got a lot of things to talk about. I don't wanna keep it too long. So let me break down what's this bag and uh, all the compartments. So my main thing is to have a uh, very compartmentalized type of bag situations. I've had a lot of bags over the years and this just seems to do me right. Um, this is the Peter McKinnon camera cube that kind of seconds as like a everyday bag. So, you know, once I take everything out of uh, this main portion, you have a camera cube right here at the bottom. And you'll see I have pretty much a lot of compartmentalized, compartmentalized things. I have my tech pouch, I have some headphones, I have a sling, and I have my uh, OP1 field, which is my musical equipment. So from there, you know, you can see I could take this, cinch it down, um, basically undo the straps from this bag, and it basically cinches down as a camera cube, all right? That's basically how I have all of this, um, like I said, compartmentalized, right? So I'm gonna break down everything that's in each bag, but uh, first let me tell you what's usually on my on my person in my in my pocket. And that will be this. This is my iPhone 14 Pro. Uh, I have it in the gold model with the, um, the red silicone case, and it's doing me quite well, just like every iPhone has for years. Since the very first iPhone, I've had pretty much all of them. So um, this is, yeah, my weapon of choice for my phone. And uh, this is the uh, 512 gigabyte version. And of course, I'm doing a lot of filming, a lot of doing a lot of taking a lot of raw photo. And uh, I do a lot of storage on this device. So this is my iPhone 14 Pro. Now let me show you what I keep in the camera cube section of this Peter McKinnon Nomadic uh, camera cube. I usually have it in backpack mode for the most part, unless I'm traveling. But if I'm not, um, you know, I could cinch it all the way down and make it a camera cube. But it's pretty minimal in here. Uh, I have this, this is the X100V from Fujifilm. Um, I've had it for over three years. Yes, it's super popular right now, um, but I've been carrying it for three years straight. And this is my everyday, uh, pretty much all in go-to camera for when I need some good quality steals. And secondly in here, let me see it from the top down angle, you'll see this. This is my vintage camera. This is the Canon uh, TX1. If you've seen a video about me talking about my love for digicams, this is one of my favorites. It's a basically almost like a, 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 a movie camera, a old school video camera slash um, a digicam cam camera. And uh, I think it's about seven megapixels. Super fun, super high quality uh, vintage vibes from the, uh, from the TX1. And uh, yeah, this is this is my Canon, um, basically not my film camera, but my Digicam. And the only other thing I keep in here is a way to clamp my phone to different, um, you know, whether it's a, a table or, you know, if I'm on the plane and I wanna do some video recording hands-free, um, this is basically just a, a little uh, adapter that you can put your phone in. You know, you can go vertical, you can do it uh, many types of ways. And uh, I keep that in here for content creation, as well as a few spare batteries. So that's basically what I have in the camera cube on a daily basis. Next up from there is my OP1 field in an analog cases case. Um, as you can see here, I have it also with uh, the deck saver. Um, so for when I take it on the go, uh, I've been using this a ton. This is revitalized my music uh, making capabilities and I love how fun this uh, this OP1 field is. So I have it in here with the deck saver and I also got some stands uh, from Etsy. Um, link will, for everything will be in, you know down in the description below, but uh, it just kind of tilts up the OP1 field and gives it a little bit of an angle for me to play with. And then I just have a single cable to connect my OP1 field to my TX6 mixer. So all of that goes in there. And then I zip that up and that goes right, uh, the first thing that I put in my bag when I put it uh, you know, in backpack mode. And then there's my tech pouch. This is from Peak Design. Uh, I've had this for years, but it serves me very well. And I have quite a few things in here. So I will uh, talk about why I pack the things that I do and how it helps. First things first, 
This is my iPad Mini 6, my favorite iPad of all time. I'm doing all my music production. Have you been seeing? If you have been seeing my new uh, uh, set of videos and shorts and reels called Layup Drills, doing all my music production on this device. It's the iPad Mini 6 and 256 megabytes. Um, I also have the Tula mic. This is an awesome uh, mic that is from Tula. It has noise cancellation built in, really good quality. I plug it directly into my OP1 field um, and I'm able to sample my voice, guitar and other things uh, using this mic. So this is the mic that I use uh, when I'm on the go and basically when I'm here as well. <laughs> And then I have this. This is the, um, the, the TX6 from Teenage Engineering, a 12-channel, um, very mini, very high input, high quality uh, mixer from uh, Teenage Engineering. And uh, I'm able to get, you know, basically uh, 12, out 12 mono outputs uh, or six stereo outputs or six stereo inputs. And uh, when I plug this into my iPad using Loopy Pro, the app that I've been using, um, you can send, you know, basically six different stereo outs into this. I'm able to mix it how I want to, send it right back, or plug it into something like my iPhone, and then get some direct content um, straight from here. So it's an amazing device uh, from Teenage Engineering, and it fits in the palm of my hands. This is the TX6. Uh, and then from there, I have some cables to be able to connect everything, some, you know, uh, basically a headphone jack to headphone jack cables. Um, I have a two terabyte uh, Samsung T7 SSD hard drive for backing up files and when I shoot uh, things on cameras and I want to put them and back them up for uh, storage and all of that. I have the Bellroy pencil pouch, which I carry a lot more um, cables. I have basically like a USB hub, some more USB Type-C to USB Type-C, uh, USB Type-C to Lightning. Um, I have a fourth inch to cable a uh, uh, guitar cable, uh, all the different type of cables that I might need on the go for music as well as for, uh, you know, getting things off my phone or off my iPad. So um, that's all the little cables in my pencil pouch. And that's basically how I carry that. And then I have a, I newly picked up a battery bank from Anchor. No, none of, nothing is sponsored today, but this is the Anchor battery pack um, that, um, basically has the most powerful uh, power delivery, uh, over 140 watts that you can get from um, this device into a MacBook Pro, a, an iPad, a, a phone, anything you need to charge extremely fast. So uh, it, it's awesome that it you know can tell you, you know basically uh, the charge level, uh, how much wattage is getting to each different device. And uh, this is about 24,000 uh, milliamp hours. So it powers up all this stuff with no problem when I'm on the go. So all of this stuff fits neatly into this um, Peak Design tech pouch. And um, that's basically how I, how I carry this set of gear. And um, so yeah, I can do all of that, kind of squeeze it and cinch it down. And uh, yeah, that's what I carry in this. Then of course, I uh, my headphones for on the go are my AirPod Maxes. Um, I do have the cable um, to be able to go from lightning to a uh, headphone jack to be able to plug this into my um, my mixer, my TX6 mixer. And uh, and I love using these on the plane. So, um, you know, they, they're the AirPod Maxes. You know, they, they, they've done me well for the last few years. And uh, yeah, you know, for mobile music production, of course, there could be flatter headphones, ones that I can use that'll give me uh, maybe a more flat, um, you know, profile for sound. But uh, when I'm on the go, I only want to bring one pair of headphones. Uh, and so I'm bringing my AirPod Maxes because they can do they can do just as much as I need for mixing purposes. But then they're very convenient for on the go flying and all of that. So my AirPod Maxes. And then lastly is my sling. This is basically what I carry everywhere with me, regardless if I need my full production back or not. This is the Wandered Tech Pouch, I believe. And on, uh, I love how small it is. Um, this is my EDC pouch that I carry with me every day. So let me show you what's inside of this. So in here, I keep it pretty simple. I have my Bellroy leather wallet that I've been using for years. I have quite a few cards in here. And then, uh, of course, my um, college, uh, you know, my, my, my professor badge card and Costco and all of that. So this is basically uh, my everyday wallet. And I keep that right here 
in this back pouch there, right? Um, I have an everyday kind of, you know, very stealthy camera that I talked about in my Digicam video. This is the DX01 uh, from DXO. This is a camera from 2016. Fix 35 1.8. A uh, camera that can be plugged directly into your phone using lightning um, and it also has one for Android but um, you don't have to have it directly plugged into your phone and it takes really great quality photos very on par with your RX100 series camera um, and it's so light about the size of a uh, 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 you know, a thing of AirPods and uh, it goes right with me if I want something just a little bit stepped up from my quality of my phone. Uh, I have my AirPod Pros um, that I've had forever. I have not upgraded to the new ones because these are still working fine and I don't want to be that person who just upgrades for everything every every time just because it is new. And then I need a portable backup battery for um, my uh, iPhone and this is the Anchor uh, MagSafe battery pack and that has the little stand to it. And so, yeah, that is one of the go-tos that I need as well as if I need to take anything off of any of my cameras, I have the lightning to SD card reader. So that's what goes into this pouch. And a lot of times I'll put my phone directly in here, right here, and you'll see that's kind of how I carry that. Now on the front of the pouch, I have some essentials and I have that in this pouch and this is from Alpaca. And so in here I'll have, uh, let's see here. I have a pin, of course, I have some uh, chapstick of course, I have some band-aids if you ever need something like that. I also have a spare key to the house as well as a pair of clippers with a nail file. So I have all of that in there in this pouch and uh, that's zipped up neatly. And then in the front pouch, I have some uh, toothpicks and uh, on the side, I keep my uh, AirTag. And so I have an AirTag, I have all of that in here, which be, you know, goes nicely right here in the front of this pouch. So I always know where my sling is. And that is that. So basically, yeah, that is my sling. And that's how I put all of that together. So when you take this Peter McCannon sling, you open it up to backpack mode, you can fit, um, you know, my uh, OP1 field right here in the bottom um, fits very easily, right? It's almost a perfect perfect fit for the OP1 field right there at the bottom. Then my tech pouch goes right on top of that. My AirPods and my sling, everything fits very, very nicely. And you have a bag that, you know, might not have as much protection, right, around the, the bag for every day, but everything is already protected, so it's already a double layer. And of course, you have padding on the back of this bag and it is pretty comfortable to carry with me all day long. So this is my EDC, and this is how I'm rocking it, and I can take all of this everywhere and do all the things that I need to do for mobile music content creation in 2023. Bow! So if you have any other questions, let me know. Um, the only other thing that I sometimes carry that's not almost every day, but um, you know, I carry this in, a, in its own carrier is my CME, and this is my uh, 37 key keyboard and so I will carry it in this pouch here so if I'm traveling uh, you might have seen me travel and use this keyboard I'm using it with this but I don't carry that every day with me well listen I hope you got something out of that this is my EDC like I said uh, all the links will be in the description and uh, yeah there will be affiliated links you know how it works but um, that's pretty much all I have for you today um, you know like I said if you got any questions drop them in the comment section below and uh, man it feels good to be in rhythm so uh, if you haven't checked out my layup drills uh, shorts um, uh, video series please check that out it's a uh, one thing for me to be able to stay consistent every single day um, to put passion um, onto my fingertips and see what comes out and then to, you know just give it right back to the world and it's empowering it's fun it's it's energetic and it's something that I've never done before so uh, I'm trying to do this for the entire year and uh, let's just to see how far I can get to hope you guys are having a very very great week and I will check you out in the next one. All right, take care.